Hey guys, how you doing? Tommy Roney here, your favorite custom tactics king, the one and only master of the custom tactics, bringing you another custom tactics video. This time focusing on the 4-2-3-1, the more conservative approach, obviously, um, to playing FIFA. But if you obviously want to play more conservative and you actually want to improve on the game, this is the formation to go to, as always. If you want more fun uh, formations, then make sure to check out my other videos, especially the 4 3 one two ultra attacking formation. That's going to be great. But I'll be looking into 4 4 2 and 5 2 one 2 in future videos. Make sure to subscribe to not miss out on those. Make sure to check out my latest podcast. It should be popping up somewhere. Um, it's an exciting new podcast where you can really, you know, put your voice across about what you think about the current issues in the game and really just kind of unite together. And obviously, guys, as always, I'm going to ask you to subscribe now. If you haven't subscribed and most of you haven't have subscribed, make sure to do it now. Join the army before it's too late. Um, don't miss out on any giveaways. All my socials down below. Guys, then four, two, three, one. Here we are. Interesting formation. It's a bit of a classic, boring formation. I feel like all the teams in real life use it as well. Uh, the other day, Klopp was using it in the Liverpool United match. Um, and United started uses various variations of it. You know, like every, every team in the world uses this formation. It's such a classic formation because it's the most balanced in absolutely every single way. But how do we make it work, guys? How do we actually utilize it? Not make it too boring, but also you know enjoy it. We do five width, four depth. The reason why we put on balance, guys, is because you really want to kind of pressure your opponent. You're not going to be able to do that with drop back. As you can guess, it's too boring. It's too defensive. So you'd go with balance, guys. Five width, four depth. Um, possession on offensive style. Now, let me explain this one. I never usually say possession, but personally, it works for me. So I want to obviously um, give you guys the same tips. As I would use, obviously, that is the common saying, you know, you're not going to be um, doing something that is obviously broken. And it works. I play a professional level and it works. So, guys, possession is the one for me. I feel like for the 4 2 3 1 is a very difficult formation to really kind of counter attack and to really push forwards with. It's a very patient formation. So, therefore, you need something that is obviously going to give you those little spaces. Um, to be able to create those chances and obviously put, putting players closer together will give you a better uh, way of utilizing that space. So having possession is the one to go with here guys. Five width, six players in the box. The reason why I put six is because the 4 2 three, one is a formation that loves isolating the striker and is simply not good enough if you're trying to attack. Um, and you'll see in a second how the player instructions are going to really complement this offensive style. Two corners, two free kicks. I never put free kicks on more than two, but corners you can put on three if you want to, but I don't like to concede uh, counters, so two is probably the best. Plus, who really scores corners? Basically no one. I saw uh, got a um, corner tutorial coming up, so waiting up for that. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, you won't want to miss out. Also, slap a like right now if you want a bit of luck in foot champs, man. Literally, we all need that luck sometimes, so slap a like if you want um, better luck in the future. I'm going to start from the back here, guys, because I think that's the best way to go here. Counts for crossing the sweeper keeper. And we are back, guys. EA was trying to really stop the greatness happening there, guys. They did not want me to share these tactics with you, but here we are. Um, comes for cross the sweeper keeper guys on the keeper as always from me you'll see that I always like to do that don't move the center backs don't do anything silly with them stay back while attacking and overlap on both of your left back and right backs it just will allow you to create attacks down the wing a bit quicker and a bit better um, these players kind of just put themselves a bit more wider so I think it just allows you to stretch the play a lot more and obviously gives you more options of trying to play out from the back um, which is kind of the way you attack with this formation because of how hard it is to defend in a natural way and then counter because there's not enough bodies forwards. Um, cover center stay back while attacking and the cover center on the more attacking CDM. This is a classic thing I'm, I'm sure all of you are used to at this point. Bruno Fernandes on stay forward. Ronaldo on stay forward. So the cam and the striker both on stay forward because you really need them up there. Otherwise, you will not have your attacks. I am not someone that, you know, prioritizes defending so I don't want all my players in defense. You know, trying to really save me from conceding or whatever. Come on, guys. That's not how we play. And if you want to find out how we play, make sure to follow me on Twitch as we start streaming very soon. Get into the box. Get into the box on the left uh, and right cam. 
that's why I said guys six players in the box you really want to push the players into that space and it will be very difficult if your striker is isolated and your cam is outside the box which they almost likely will be you need these two going inside and you only have that if you have the six players into the box and the two on a play instruction of getting to box or cross but you guys already understand that let's get into the attacking yes guys here we are with the 4-2-3-1 the more attacking variation um, obviously it's a bit different than usual things you'd see the 4 2 3 one is mainly a defensive formation it is not the greatest attacking formation so um, you know if you really want to make it attacking you have to put a bit more you know bodies up there and pressure on heavy touch will probably allow you to do that best press after possession loss you'll lose your players and constant pressure is obviously not helpful pressure on heavy touch i think is better allows you to still maintain your shape which is what gives you that stability and balance but also allows you to push up a bit more guys six width and six depth that kind of becomes very you know clear you know you need the bodies up there you need the players uh, to really push up and you know that's the best way to do it offensive style balance we're not going to make a fast build up or anything like that like i said before it will make your players go all over the place you want to maintain that shape that is the whole key with the 4 2 3 formation it allows you to maintain the shape and that's what you want to do for the longest time even when you're trying to really push the players up there five width six players into the box exactly the same no changes there guys instructions stay forward nothing changes on a striker cam don't put him on stay forward and i'll show you in a second just put him on aggressive interceptions it allows you to really have your player ro roaming around causing problems getting the ball back intercepting and that's what you need when you have pressure on heavy touch you can get the ball back very quickly in those kind of areas and that's the key you, this is exactly why you don't put them on stay forward you want to put your ram and your lamb on stay forward and get into box for cross and because they don't stay forward, you cannot have your camera on stay forward because otherwise it would be an absolute mess defensively. And it will create this massive gap in between your players, not allowing you to kind of play smoothly through the middle, which is what you want to still be able to do. But if your CDM is on cover center, none of them will stay back. You haven't got time for that at this point. Balanced attack, overlap, balanced attack. Guys, EA stopped us once again, and I have absolutely no clue why this is happening so much. I told you, these tactics are too good. These are the secrets, guys, and I'm here to give them to you. Overlap, overlap, and we finally got there. Comes for crosses, sweeper keeper. I'm not going into ultra defensive, guys, because I will never, never, never tell people how to sit back and defend. Because that's what football is all about. And you don't have to do that. And if you're good enough, you don't have to do that. Because I never play like that. I don't even play drop back against pros. So I don't think you need to be able to do it in the weekend league or rivals or anything else you play. Meanwhile, ultra attacking is never the option with 4 2 3 1. If you want my ultra attacking, go check out my 4 3 1 2. That is the best formation when it comes to ultra attacking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a good time. And until next time, see ya.